crazy Superman here. What is going on? In my last video, I talked about the importance and the goal of meditation. And today, I want to talk about what is meditation and what is not meditation. There is a very important saying from the author of Sapien. Ival Nora Harari that in the 20th century what is power? Power is having access to data. When you have the information that empower you, that is power. But in the 21st century, what is power? Power is not having access to data because right now it's information overload. It is information explosion. The power right now is knowing what information to ignore. Because there's a lot of fake information, false information. So it's really important understanding what is not meditation. And finally, understand what is meditation. Because there's a lot of wrong information that will lead you to the wrong places. I mean, I've been meditating since high school, but I never do it right. And why? Because there's a lot of wrong information leading me to the wrong places. So, coming up in this episode, I'm going to talk about what is not meditation and what is meditation. Well, today I kind of want to share my experience of quitting the Uber Eats. And Ali Jamali, oh my god, the table topic session was incredible because he effectively used the most important skill of Toastmaster, imagination. You always have to imagine and use that imagination bringing the audience and make it exciting and fun. <coughs> this week, the Toastmaster medallion award, <coughs> I'll give it to the reason I quit because I was doing my meditation challenge, I was reading my book, and it's talking about the right speech, the right action, and the right living word. That's part of purification of our mind. And you want to purify your mind so that you can meditate. And one of the things is the, the living word. Like you want to have a a clean living hood that's compassion and Uber eat it's not because it's all alcohol or or animal meat which you have to kill the animal and that was the reason I stopped doing the Uber eat delivery opening my little Dharma book on that chapter, what is meditation and what is not meditation? Okay, so quickly I'm going to go through what is not meditation. Meditation is not mantra, visualization or imagination. Out there, there's a lot of so-called meditation which is using mantra and visualization and imagination. Now be aware that is not true meditation because mantra visualization and imagination works on the surface level. The true meditation should work on the roots level. The difference is like mowing a grass versus doing a complete root out of your lawn and complete receding rebuild of your lawn. The difference is massive because when you just do mowing the grass, there are a lot of weeds still there, it will still grow. And second thing is guru exploitation and business. There are a lot of meditation on the outside right now. It's actually some kind of guru, it's some kind of business, it's some kind of exploitation. You are just their customer. It's not pure dharma, it's not pure learning, it's not pure transformation. And meditation is not a religion. Meditation should be universal because it's a solution to life suffering. And if 
you shouldn't have to believe any belief, any dogma, any religion in order for meditation to work. So meditation should be like a USB plug-in. You can plug into any computer and works. You can plug into a Jewish computer, you can plug in into a Christian computer, it doesn't you can plug into an atheist computer and it will make the computer run faster. So meditation doesn't have to be a religion. And meditation is not a trip, not a vacation, is not a feeling great, oh this is wonderful, wonderful. Quite the contrary, meditation is learning how to deal with adversity, how to not feel pain by the pain, and non-reaction, rather than seeking enjoyment, seeking pleasurable, pleasant sensation, because that will take you out of meditation. It's very dangerous. And meditation is not concentration. Like, you get concentration from playing video game, you get concentration from driving. One moment you're not focused, you could die on the road. Meditation, on the other hand, is for liberation, is for changing our patterns of our mind. And meditation is not magic. It's not like we put a whole bunch of, of bad causes, bad deeds, and we're hoping good things will happen. Meditation is hard work. And meditation is not a money-making business. Out there, you will see a lot of people using meditation as a money-making business model. Now, when the person is teaching it, it's polluted with money, they don't understand the real Dharma. If they understand real Dharma, they wouldn't offer it as business. To dissolve your ego, you cannot use money to buy. Quite contrary to the truth, you cannot use money. And meditation is not an escapism. Quite the contrary, meditation is seeing the reality, facing the reality, and taking a positive action. And last point, meditation is not a ritual. It's not a ceremony. It's not something that you do and, and nothing changes to your daily life. Meditation is practical. Meditation is your everyday life, every moment, moment to moment reality, your consciousness. Meditation is 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 your neighbor making you angry your boss making you angry but you don't burn with them you don't you don't put gasoline and fire with them rather you put out the dharma water and feel cool and, and non-reaction and figure out a right positive action that is good for everyone that's that's supporting these are the points. What is not meditation? Meditation is not mantra, not visualization, not imagination, not guru, not exploitation, not business, not religion. It's not a trip, it's not a vacation, it's not a, a feeling good session, it's not concentration, it's not magic, it's not money making business. Meditation is not escapism, it's not ritual, and it's not ceremony. So all that will take away take you away from the real meditation. What is real meditation? A real meditation is one, observation of breath and sensation. Because these two things is always in the constant moment, it's always in the reality, it's always in the present moment. Second, meditation is removal of all cravings. Because the source of suffering the source of pain in life is from our craving, is from our addiction, because that leads to ego problem, leads to distracted emotion. When you can remove the craving, you are liberated. Wisdom come to you, and purification of mind happening, mastery of mind happening. Third point, meditation is universal, it is scientific, it is non-sectarian. And meditation can pass the peer review. And you can duplicate the same result at different laboratory, a different person. And it's very important. If it's not universal, it's not meditation. Because the solution should be universal. The suffering is universal, right? It should be equal. 
and meditation is high morality standard to train your mind to purify your mind you have to have high morality you can't be killing a pig having a barbecue and the next moment you try to meditate you can't rob a bank and then next moment you try to meditate that's not possible so it's important you have very high morality standard therefore it's not trip it's not vacation it's purification of the mind and why you want to purify the mind because you can meditate better and why you want to meditate better because you get Dharma water you get wisdom that help you see the world so it's kind of a positive uh, spiral that you'll get into it once you get the meditation right meditation is the purification and the mastery of our mind when you are not a slave to your senses when you are not slave to your addiction when you break free from all this bondage you become a master of your mind and when you can follow the moral code you purify your mind so these two things is very important and meditation is not magic it's not play it's not hope it's not pray it's two hours of daily hard training in the morning in the evening you have to put in the time to train your brain to focus on the breath to focus on sensation and changing the old habit of worrying or fantasizing or delusion or me 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 you know it's breaking free from that and it's really hard work you have to put in two hours a day of investment it's invest into yourself and going deeper into yourself and next point meditation is free if the Dharma teacher is thinking about money then the teacher is polluted and only when it's free it is universal it's accessible by anyone it's a real Dharma and meditation is a realism is workism it's not oh I'm running away from my responsibility It's seeing the world as it is the good the bad and out of it taking a positive action that's good for yourself and good for others taking action is very important you're not entangled in your ego you are not entangled by your emotion rather you are always taking strong positive action that's good for yourself and for the world and last point meditation is nirvana is enlightenment it's a state of mind that's happening right now it's not after you die or you go to heaven or wonderful the benefit is now you entering the nirvana now when there are challenge fire coming at you you can put out the fire you are in nirvana when you have compassion you have tolerance coming out of you despite of all kinds of challenge you are in nirvana you are in enlightenment so meditation is all of that let me summarize it observation of breath not sensation removal of all craving universal scientific non-sectarian high morality purification mastery of the mind two hours of hard training it's free you do it at home it's free you spend your own time on meditation it's all free meditation shouldn't involve with any kind of money it's realism it workism it's nirvana now it's enlightenment now so that's it for this video talking about what is not meditation and what is meditation like this video thumb up comment below and subscribe to my channel crazy superman we'll talk to you next time bye for now